Hi, I'm Shelly, the Builder All Diva, and I want to show you today how to set up a personal item inside of Cheetah. So let's jump in and watch how it's done. All right, I'm in my Cheetah website, and now I can actually choose to save one of these panels or any element as a personal item. So I want to go ahead and save this panel because I really like the way I designed this panel, and I may want to use it again for either another page on the site or on a different website altogether. So I just right click the panel so I can go to the settings and I get the mini toolbar and on the left hand side of the mini toolbar, it says save element. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then I'm going to give it a name. Once I give it a name, I just click save as personal element. And now this is actually saved. Now, because it's a panel, it's going to be saved in the panel area. So let's take a look at that and move myself out of the way here. And I'm going to go to personal. And then I'm going to go to panel and then here's my panel settings. I'm going to click that. And if I go all the way down to the bottom, you can see where it says Shelly's element so that I can click at any time. I can click the plus button and it will actually add it to my web page and I can start working with that exact same element again. Now you can do this with elements as well. So let's say that I really like this box that I built and I want to save it. I just click on the box. I get to the teeny tiny little icon on my mini toolbar that says save element. I make it a name, so I'll call it Shelly's box and click save. And now it's going to be listed in a little bit different area. So if I go up here and I go to personal and then elements, it's going to be a little bit different. So this is a box. So I'm going to look inside these elements here and I'm going to choose box. And then I scroll all the way to the bottom and there's Shelly's box right there. So that's how you save panels and elements as personal items inside of the Cheetah Editor in BuilderAll.